Now this is some really, really powerful functionality and I just wanted to show you a little bit about it today and kind of uh, see, show you how it works. So to begin with, I want to show you this list of a couple of the things that we can use the Computer Vision API for. Uh, so one of the, uh, the things we can do is just analyzing an image. So if we provide an image to the API, it can provide a description of that image to us. It can also uh, list out objects that it sees in an image. So if it sees people or if it sees cars or buildings or if it's inside or outside, it can tell us a lot about that. Um, and then, like I said, like uh, with, with people, it can recognize whether there are faces in an image, uh, perhaps the gender of the faces, and it'll actually do an attempt at determining the age of people in a picture. It can also be used for OCR, or optical character recognition, and in simple terms, that's reading text from an image, so we can use it to do that. It also has a library of about 200,000 celebrity images and 9,000 landmarks, so we can use the Computer Vision API to identify whether a person, a famous person, or a, a landmark is included in a picture. And then kind of similar to the OCR, we can use it to analyze and read uh, handwritten text. So it's a little bit different API. Uh, the idea is kind of similar though, but it will read handwritten text and convert that into character strings that we can use. So I wanted to show you a little bit about what this looks like. You can actually go out to the Azure Computer Vision site. You do a search for it and find it and try this yourself. And so these were, I've got a couple examples here of some things that I did that I wanted to show you. Uh, so this is a picture of uh, Wrigley Field in Chicago. And so I uploaded this to the um, to the piece of the API that analyzes text. And sure enough, I can see on this image here that it, it can read the text on this picture. Uh, so it recognized that it says Wrigley Field, home of the Chicago Cubs, et cetera, et cetera. And so that's one pretty good example of uh, you know where it was pretty successful in reading the text from an image. Um, I found in most cases, the samples I've done, that it is, it's pretty accurate at reading text and it was just kind of fun to, to, to try out with a couple couple examples. Uh, again, I did this from their website, so you can see there the way that I did this was uh, I navigated to this photo. I had it saved on my, my laptop and I just browsed to the file location and sent it up to the API and it rendered my result here. So that's how I did that. Another example, here's a picture of a landmark most of us probably recognize. Uh, this was actually taken from uh, my wife's phone a few weeks ago. And I tried to pass this into the landmark recognition uh, section uh, on the, the trial page. And sure enough, it you can see there in the resulting uh, JSON that it identified that it is the Statue of Liberty. Uh, this API is also the same one that will tell you whether or not there are celebrities and who the celebrities are. And so this correctly identified that there are no celebrities in this picture. And the other nice thing about this one is it tells you a percent of confidence. How confident is, is the API that it made a correct match? And that's indicated here as well. One more example I did here was uploading a picture of a famous person. And the API correctly determined that this was Jackie Robinson uh, with a very high percentage of confidence. And it also correctly understood that there were no landmarks uh, in this image as well. So those are just a couple of fun examples of how we can use the Computer Vision API. Now I did all of these through the, the website, just kind of playing around with, with the tooling that's available there. Uh, but the website also provides sample uh, code snippets for how you can actually call this API from your application. So that, that's a handy reference. And another really powerful application of this API is with, and pardon the pun, but Power Apps. Uh, so with a Power App, you can use the phone operation on your camera and take a picture and use a Power App then to call that API and, and to describe uh, that image. And so that's another interesting application of that. And our very own Brian Knight has a video on how you can do this on his series of creating Power Apps. So you can check that out if you want to take a look at that. I hope you found this introduction to the Azure Computer Vision API helpful. If you have any questions about this or any of the other Azure products, please reach out. Let us know. Thank you. Mm -hmm.